Okay, after you've already extracted and licensed the Amazon product scraper, it should automatically open for you. I'm just going to open it up here. Okay, and now the first thing you're going to want to do is open your keyword list. Go ahead and click Choose File. Here's my keyword list here. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. For this example, I'm just going to have one keyword in here. You, you're going to want to make sure that you're using a .txt or CSV file using one keyword per line. Go ahead and click Open. Now we're going to choose the location and the file name for the products we're going to scrape. So click Choose File. And I'm just going to name this Laptops. .csv. And you're going to want to make sure that you either save as a .csv or .txt file. Go ahead and click enter or click save. If you click this checkbox here where it says turn browser off while scraping, what it will do is turn flash, images, and the browser off uh, so you can uh, scrape much faster and also use uh, less bandwidth and resources. So I'm going to go ahead and click that pages to scrape per keyword. This is how deep um, the bot will scrape based off of the keyword that you choose. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you enter a maximum of about 20 pages um, because you're going to get 20 pages per keyword. So for this example I'm just going to put three pages and then all we do is click run. So now you can see that it's turned off the browser and images and then we can monitor the keyword scraped the product scraped and then the total pages scraped here and as you can see here this file here is getting bigger and it just finished so it says Amazon product scraper done 52 product URLs have been saved so now, let's see, three pages done. We can open our CSV file here and actually see all the URLs that have been saved from the bot. Okay, and here we have the URLs that are saved from the bot. 52, 52 products, great.